I primed the skin. Now I'm going to prime the eyes because I want her to be able to wear this makeup for a long period. So what I use is an eye primer. So you know you put on this really nice, you know, you, you, you test it on the back of your hand, you really like it, and then you put it on your eyes when you go home and, you know, it just, it starts creasing. Because the eyelids are very oily, right? Mm -hmm. So you put on your, your, your eyeshadow and it just starts to go crazy. And you're like, what's going on? You know, that's because you need some type of a base so that that will allow your powder to stay on. And not only stay on longer, but it doesn't crease up and like fade away as the day gets older, right? So you put on these nice, you go in the salon and put on the blow drying and everything just melts off, right? So you want to get you want to get some, you want to get an eye primer and that's going to allow you to allow, what's your name again? Amazia? Okay, I'm going to just call you Mazzy. How's that? That's going to be my nickname for you. Okay, so it's going to allow her to wear this makeup after school. She wants to go to the mall. You know, whatever she wants to do, she'll be able to do it, and it, it's going to be just fine. Can you use a normal primer as an eye primer, like a regular primer? Or? You can, but the only problem with that is there's some things that are designed for the face that are not designed for the eye. Okay. So if it's for the eye, if it's an eye primer, I'll use the eye primer. And they have a lip one as well. Right? There's a lip primer oh, okay. as well. <laughs> Exfoliate your lips, guys. Use your toothbrush when you brush your teeth. Exfoliate your lips if you want that <coughs> lip to those lips to look really nice and plumptuous and the lipstick, you know, whatever lipstick you buy, if you really want it to read well. Mm -hmm. Have you ever used the Urban Decay eye primer? That's what I've just used. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I have that at home and I've never used it. <laughs> it's it's really amazing. I wasn't, sure I wasn't really sure if it was going to make a difference. It does. It makes a huge difference. And... I chose to go with that over another product look, which, I, which I have, which is this Groundwork. It's also amazing from MAC. It is a base for, it just pops your, and maybe I should try it on the other eye, just so you can see the difference. Um, it really pops your, and I should have done that. Oh, you're taking, okay, that's fine. Right. Okay. Is it kind of like the effect of when you put on your eyeshadow that like before your concealer or whatever has dried? Like when you put your eyeshadow on moist skin, is it kind of that effect? I, I'm sorry, I didn't understand your question. Okay, if you put your eyeshadow on like dry skin, mm -hmm. like you put on powder makeup and then you put on your eyeshadow, it doesn't like take very you know what I mean it goes on light mm -hmm. and then if you just put on like your foundation and your face is still kind of dewy and then you go to put on your eyeshadow the pigment really like takes because it's kind of wet so it's like because I've made that mistake before you get like one eye where it's dry and then the other side is kind of like wet when you put the eyeshadow on and then you get this one really dramatic eye and then the other one is kind of like daytime eye. <laughs> you know what? It, it, that's possible. I've never really. You know, what I do know is when you do, when you, whenever you apply foundation foundation to wet skin, it's usually more sheer. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure about the intensity okay. level. I, I've never really tried it. Okay. I'm always very. <laughs> yeah, but. Um, if you do, after you put your moisturizer on, if you're not doing um, the, the priming, try to just pat it a little bit, just for consistency. So I'm using this sort of a golden color, 
called Woodwing from MAP. And I'm bringing it right up to her, from the lid, right up to the brow. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks really nice on her skin. And then she has the eye space. You see what I mean, the difference with my beautiful girl here and her? She can carry this type of makeup because of her eye space. And, you know, these ladies from this background they have amazing eyes their makeup looks different when they put it on even if this is the exact same colors because they have all this eye space to work with right yeah I'm just feathering it out a little bit here and there is my first application on the eye will make this I Alright, so then I will go in with my Embark, and the Embark I'm going to do a sort of outer V. And then I'm going to work that in. So then, well, don't close, just sort of go down. Mm -hmm. Go down. And whatever I do on one eye, I, I like to do on the other eye just for balance. So I don't finish one eye before I get to the next. And if you're really good at remembering things, that's fine. But this kind of works better for me. don't want her to close this is so that I don't miss the eye crease
blending it out so it doesn't have any harsh harshness to it. Still blending. I have to blend my colors so they look very look very soft. When you think you blend enough, just blend a little bit more. So, tilt your eyes a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just kind of shape, giving it a nice little shape right now. 